I'm Jay Diamond. Um, I help people have very powerful spiritual breakthroughs with healing, intuitive card readings and yoga. I'm a shamanic tantric yogini, which basically means I mix up a lot of very um, ancient healing technology to provide solutions for our modern day life. You can find me at jaydiamond.net. On Facebook, I'm Ms. J Diamond. I have decided to start a series of blogs, um, video blogs about plant medicine and sharing some thoughts, some information um, about that because it's, it's just had a massive upsurge, a huge uprising, which is fantastic in many ways. And there are also some things that we need to consider and um, some things to take care of ourselves around, some things that we need to consider about the environment and the sustainability of these medicines. Very, very powerful, beautiful healing plant medicines that are really contributing to our evolution, our spiritual evolution of humans. We're living it in incredible, exciting times. And as much as things, you know, appear to be going absolutely batshit crazy in the world, and they are, um, there's also a very strong pull to evolve and we're being helped. We're being helped spiritually so in so many ways. And I really, really believe that these plant spirit helpers are really here to assist us on this kind of next step in our journey as humans. And so for that reason, I've just decided to put my fears aside and just really speak more openly and um, maybe answer some questions just based on my own personal experience that's it you know i'm not um pretending to be the next sort of big shamanic uh i don't know expert healer um i do i do what i do and i do what i do well and i'll talk from my experience really and, and that's all i can do and i just wanted to start answering some questions that i've seen floating around and see if there's any way that i can assist so um, this video today is really about if you haven't connected with the medicine yet what your steps could be what to consider um, and a way to connect with the medicine spiritually emotionally without even participating in the medicines when I talk about plant medicine for the purpose of these videos I'm, I'm more talking about the psychoactive medicines of ayahuasca, riboga, san pedro, peyote um, I'll also talk about cacao, which isn't psychoactive, but it's a very powerful healer um, in its own right. So one thing I really wanted to talk to you about, if you haven't thought about this, is the possibility of connecting to your medicine of choice, say it's ayahuasca, say it's iboga, in meditation and really inviting because it's a spirit that we're working with you know it's like if you know about vibrational medicines if you go to the high street if you go to holland and barrett you can go in there and find back flower remedies this is working with plants this is working with the spirit and the vibration of plants and they've been around for years these little tincture bottles you can buy tinctures for the physical body for the emotional body you know we go and we buy um saint john's war and that helps with depression and depression is an emotional illness in the same way you know these plant spirit teachers these plant spirit doctors are here to assist us you know to release our maladies to release our um what holds us back the conditioning the things that set us apart from our own hearts so that we can really connect with the divine and really embody that in our life um, so I feel that a really strong way to do that and to call that experience in, if that's what you're wanting, is to pray, is to pray on it, is to pray hard, to pray to the creator, to ask in a way with a clean heart, with an open attention, with a way that you um, pray to the most high, whatever that is for you, I'm really wanting this experience, I'm really ready to open up, I'm really ready to release ego, because that's a lot of what these medicines are about in their teaching, in their, um, <laughs> in how it affects you. It's all the ways that we hold ego and egoic response in the world, the way that we've built barriers. A lot, of them, a lot of the work of this medicine is to release that ego and to really just keep coming into the heart, keep coming into the spirit, keep coming from this place of truth, love and devotion. 
Um, so one of the strongest ways that you can call, this is how I did it for me. I prayed on it and I prayed on it. I was like, okay, I started to hear about these plant medicines. I was really, really felt like I was needing healing. And I didn't know how to connect. I didn't know where to find it. I didn't know where it would come. I didn't know how it would happen. But all I knew is I set my intention. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm ready. I'm going to do it. I'm going to open up to it. And it happened that um, there was a, a talk came about. Well, I was living in Manchester at the time, not London. There was a, a big talk and I went, I decided to go, went on my own. I found that there were people there that I knew. I couldn't believe how many people were there and knew about this because it was completely new to me at that time. This was a few years ago. And I just went and I listened. And as soon as I listened to this talk, I thought, okay, it's for me. And I just brought that into my prayer. Um, I'm ready. Please bring it to me. I started looking up on the internet. I started finding out about this. I started learning more. So that's the first step really is being open, is listening, is going to talks, going to meetups, meeting like-minded people, have a think about why you want to do this. It's a not a path for everyone. It can be a very strong, very difficult path. So be under no illusions about that. This can bring things up that you you know, you've got to be ready to deal with your shit. And that's one of the things you really need to know. You better be ready to deal with your shit because it's going to come up. It's going to be in your face and you're going to have to look it in the eyes. <laughs> it really is about, you know, uh, in the Tibetan Buddhist path, they call it feeding your demons. You know, seeing it, accepting it, loving it and then letting it go. That can be a difficult process sometimes. So what you can do is in your meditation is call the spirit of the plant to you. And just ask, come to me. I want to connect with you. I know people who've done this for like three years before they've actually got to meet in person to the medicine, before they've gone to Peru, before they've gone to places in South America and sat with the, um, with the tribes there and received this medicine and received this healing. Maybe it's been three years till they've got the money together, till they've got the circumstances right, till kind of manage for everything to align and that they can really connect in this deep way. So you can do that in your meditation. And what you'll find is over time, you can really start to feel a presence come in. Um, you can ask that the medicine arranges to help you get a meeting with the medicine in the safest, clearest way. Um, so pray on it so call it in your meditation um, what I've done is I before going into the meeting with the medicine I would write a letter and when I would write what I where I was at um, what I wanted to create the things I really wanted to let go of I find that this is a really powerful process that before you go into any of these plant medicine ceremonies you write to the spirit itself directly and maybe you have that letter on your altar for a number of weeks or months before you actually go and sit uh, in that ceremony i would also really urge you to like i said before really th think strongly about where you're going to do this you should really go on recommendation um, you know, I've been hearing stories about people just rocking up to the Amazon, rocking up to Peru, looking to have an experience or just hearing about it and um, saying, oh yeah, I'll go with this person, I'll go for this ayahuasca ceremony and they have no idea who they are, you have no idea about the, the content, like what's in the medicine. Um, it's very important, I can't even, I can't even stress to you enough how important it is that you Go to someone who's recommended because there, there are people who do not have good intentions. There have been awful things that have happened to people, actually. You've just rocked up to the Amazon and said, oh yeah, I'll give this a go. And they've ended up very ill. They've been um, reported assaults. Um, so it's really important that you take care of yourself. And you don't go into this with like this, yeah, I'm going to just go and have this trip, man. I'm going to like... I'm going to see what this is all about and I'm just like whoever the first cheapest person is I'm just going to go with them and, and hope for the best don't do that this you know 
what people don't seem to understand, I've heard of people just ordering this shit off the, especially with ayahuasca, just ordering this shit off the internet and just doing it at home just to see what it does. Do not do that. One, you do not know the quality of the medicine. You can be extremely ill and it can really send you into a very, very bad place that you might never come back from. And you have to, we have to tell the truth on it. You're, you're dealing with strong spiritual medicine and it has a strong physical effect on the body. If you're taking um, antidepressants, you cannot take this medicine. There are very strong contraindications, especially with the ayahuasca. You cannot take med medication with this medicine. Just don't do it. This is when you hear the horror stories, half the time, this is what's happened. They've continued taking uh, medications or they've not declared that they've got a heart condition or they've not declared that they've got like a physical ailment and they've just gone into that ceremony and, and bad things have happened to them because they've, they've not been honest about what's going on for them. They've not followed the dieta. It's really important that you follow the fucking rules and you just don't go in there with your own like, oh, it'll be all right, thinking you know everything when you don't. You're, you're literally opening massive spiritual portals. You're opening dimensional, interdimensional connections that you've never opened before. You're opening your third eye in a way that's never been opened before, probably in this lifetime. And, you know, opening um, information you've never had access to. It's a lot. Um, and it has to be said, you know, we can't pussyfoot around and just like, yeah, it's really sweet, it's really unicorn. Sometimes it is that, sometimes it isn't. You just have to be really ready that your whole life could completely change after taking any one of these medicines. And usually it's for the better. You know, we want it to be for the better. That's certainly what's happened for me. Um, but it's really important that we have this very clear intention that we really follow what we're being asked to do, that we really look into who are we sitting with. Are they very trustworthy? Um, do they come very recommended? Am I in the right place spiritually, emotionally, physically for this right now? So if you haven't connected with any of these medicines yet and you're wanting to, I'll just reiterate, pray, invite it into your meditation, keep doing your research, keep asking people, keep, you know, keep um, finding out which are the most trustworthy places. If that means you pay a bit more, then pay a bit more, you know, it's worth it. Um, invite the medicine into your heart, into your meditation, and just really focus and connect in that way. And um, that's enough for now. There's going to be so much more. We're really interested to hear your thoughts, your feelings. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.